So let's get into the choice of, of Kyle Pitts because to me, you know, your draft was the most fascinating. Your choice was the most fascinating choice because uh, we knew, and I'm again, I'm coming at it from a media point of view, clearly. Um, from We knew it was going to be one, two, three quarterbacks, and the biggest mystery was who the third quarterback was going to be. And then the question was, would we see an unprecedented four straight quarterbacks off the board, or would you go for a top-notch or, as one of my colleagues, Bucky Brooks and NFL Network, called a gold jacket talent in Kyle Pitts for the quarterback that you currently have? And you went, Kyle Pitts. Can you walk me through this process that you had that uh, that wound up with uh, Matt Ryan getting a new weapon rather than um, a potential successor? Sure. Uh, you know, first and foremost, uh, you know, uh, I won't go as far as my fellow Tar Heel Bucky to go ahead and anoint you know the guy in uh, Boston, Canton. But uh, <laughs> you now we're excited about you know Kyle and, and what he can bring to this team, the versatility he has, and you know going to that approach. I mean, every you know, all options are on the table. You know, at some point, you, you're always thinking you know, long-term as well, especially with certain positions, no, no different than you're looking at the left tackle or you're looking at sometimes at corners. And so it was a good quarterback class and there was a lot of intrigue out there as there should have been. Those guys all had great careers and, and wish them well, except when you're playing us. Um, but we felt we took the best player available where we're at and the way the draft fell. We were picking fourth. And as you said, it went one, two, three quarterback. And we felt fortunate that Kyle fell to us. So the the question of of choosing a quarterback um, as opposed to somebody like Kyle Pitts, um, wh- what was the 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 weighing of options uh, involving Matt Ryan? I mean, how how did his um, you know presence, whether it's his contract or himself, uh, work on this? And I guess the 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 large question would be. When you were hired, were you hired to have Matt Ryan, or was this a question once you found out the way that the draft might actually unfold? Well, I think when you're evaluating, when you you know Terry and I came here, obviously we were hired as we we, we went through the evaluation of the roster, and we felt obviously Matt's still playing at a really high level, and we know at some point, you know. It, the change is inevitable, right? I mean, the guys can't play forever. Certain certain guys are trying and they're pushing the limits more than ever. Um, but you're going through it, and we 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 have high expectations for Matt. And he has high expectations for himself. But if we felt that you know taking a quarterback was the best player available, we would have done it right then. We just felt fortunate with Kyle. And that's not a knock on any other quarterback that was still in the draft. There's going to be somebody that emerges that probably wasn't a first round pick that'll probably probably play all right. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of ways to acquire a quarterback. Just because you're sitting in the top five, you know, history will tell you it doesn't automatically equal you take a quarterback high that that guy's going to be your, you know, your the face of the franchise and, and to be a surefire home run. Um, you know, there's a lot of things about fit, timing. There's a lot of factors that go into them. So you look at Kyle, all right, short term, he can clearly help us. And, and a lot of these guys drafted. But also in the long term, you need to be, you need to have some stability around whenever you decide to play a young quarterback, whenever that is for and so we felt good about Kyle. I mean, it's part of the short-term and long-term plan. Well, and as you know, Arthur Smith, head coach of the Falcons, joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show, um, that uh, when you've got a veteran who's been around quite some time, when you've got a veteran who's won an MVP award and has taken the franchise to a Super Bowl, um, and they're getting up in, in years, and you draft a replacement or think about drafting a, a successor, let's put it that way, not a replacement, that it can create issues. All you got to do is just look to the state of Wisconsin as what's going on right now. How much did you clue Matt Ryan in on your draft plans throughout the process? Well, I mean, that, that I, I don't think you – again, everybody's handling it differently. I mean, Matt's a professional. I mean, every conversation he and I have is direct and honest. There's no games being played, but if we felt that it was the best interest of the Falcons right now to take a quarterback, we would have done it. And But there's no – the worst thing you can do is to sit there and try to play – be a politician and, and try to tell everybody what they want to hear all the time. And then, you know, do do something else. We won't do that here. Uh, every conversation we've had with Matt is direct. He understands that he's a competitor. I mean, all these guys know, I mean, every year you're drafting guys and you know, it's the way, you know, it's put, it's just logical. You're going to, you're going to bring a new 
crop of players in here, and those veterans, they got to hold, hold them off. And that's every year that's going to happen mm-hmm. at every position. So they got, those guys know, know what the deal is. So uh, that said, I'm sure he must be ecstatic with your choice fourth overall. Um, and uh, I'm wondering what that conversation – have you had a conversation with him since – since the draft, since the since the Kyle Pitts pick, coach. Yeah, I mean we've met and I talk. You know, we were in the, the, the middle of our virtual phase one. We we have several conversations. He's excited to to, to work with all these young guys, and uh, certainly, I mean, if you're a quarterback and you, you draft a guy that's six six and can run like that, we have <laughs> high expectations and high hopes for him. So I think I don't want to speak for Matt, but I, I'd imagine he's pretty. Excited with the chance to get to work with. I'm sure. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.